this one here. Alone. Well, oh, Bob can't make it. Mm. It's funny how time-consuming a little case of arson can be, especially when it's in the family. You heard. Heard? All I had to do was take a whiff of the air. The wind was blowing this way. I tell you, I do not admire the smell of scorched tennis sneakers. Uh, do you plan to stay in that coat all evening? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Uh, no, I didn't figure that Detective Bob Morgan would be too eager to show his face around here tonight. Well, well, well. Don't we look like the fine lady this evening? It was a choice between doing this and cornrows. <laughs> cornrows. Right. That is just the image I had of you, Gwen. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter what you look like. Mm-hmm. It matters. It matters a lot. It took time and years to learn how to dress right. Mm. You send out signals by the way you dress. You don't believe me? I'll be glad to show you the books. They have books on how to dress? It's something you should know. Yeah. All right, um, tell me now. Now, when I'm putting on my pants, should I put the right leg in first or the other one? Joke about it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, what some people won't spend money on? Books on how to dress. And how to talk and behave. Mm, mm-hmm. I wonder how the characters who wrote your books would approve of the way the brothers and sisters dress down at my place. <laughs> 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 well, no, maybe you can come over someday and give them a little chat on how they should be <laughs> dressing. <laughs> Does me proud to see you doing so well. Thank you. I'm doing okay. I mean, as much as can be expected out of a man who had to do it all by himself. You, um, want to tell me what's going on? Going on? Tonight. Why have you invited me here after all these years? <sighs> Quinn, I told you, after Luella walked out on me, I took it all in. And it made me realize that I didn't have enough family that I could afford to waste any. You should have been a preacher. What do you mean? The way you talk. You almost got me believing. Oh, <laughs> oh come on now. <laughs> you don't think that family is important to me? Well, the family's stomach seems to be. That's <laughs> quite an impressive spread you laid out there. Well, I just want my people to know where I'm at in the world. And you too. Quinn, you should know that you have a brother that has to be reckoned with. <laughs> I've decided to wait on Vangi. Hasn't been asked. But well, not surprised. Where would she find a husband in that office of hers? Oh, she found someone, haven't you? Just too bad he's married to somebody else. Aunt Viney. Oh, how much are you making now? Enough to get by on. Oh, it's... Excuse me. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, won't you come in? Come in. Hi. Hi. Aunt Vani, Aunt Duran, I'd like to introduce you no to... No need to introduce us. You're R.J.'s father, huh? R.J.? The boy who set fire to King Hall. Isn't that right? Oh. It must be so painful to have a son like that on your hands. <sighs> well, thank you for a 
lovely evening. I'm afraid I've got to get home. I have some work to do. When? Well, well when are we going to see you again? Maybe we'd better wait until I'm worthy of your company. Quinn, I'm sorry. So why don't you come and work with me at my place? I told you I need somebody. Give you a good job, and after a little while, you get to meet some nice guys, guys who are really right for you. Guys like Lynn Harris? You said it. Well, he's nice, but, well... He's, uh, not a cop. Take care of that. Fix him up with a nice little uniform, get him a cute little, you know, uh, pretend badge. Oh, Ed, now stop it. <laughs> Look at you. Now, you sound just like you did when we were a kid. I... Oh, Ed, now stop it. I do not. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. What, what, what do you really want? I want to be with Bob. When you're not thinking this thing through. It is not something you can think through logically. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Oh, boy. <laughs> I am in trouble now. <laughs> Every time you used to say that when we were little, I got into a lot of trouble. Now, come on now and listen to your big brother. Now, my house is a mess. I am not cleaning your house, Ed. I don't care if you throw in lunch, car fare. Wait a minute. I didn't say it was a real mess. It's just sort of, um, dis disgusting. <laughs> Disorganized. Okay? And if I could get some order there, I could entertain clients. Oh, you could move in, Quinn. Come on, no, you could even bring Thomasina. Help me get my life in order. I mean, this kind of thing would be good for everyone. And especially you. You mean it would keep me away from Bob? <sighs> Quinn, the man is a lame. No, I'm sorry, but I gotta say it. That turkey doesn't even have a decent suit of clothes. 